Hey, this is off to a rip or start. Yes, it and is. this is what I always wanted because we all know it's a longstanding issue with this show that I cannot get a word in edgewise. <laughs> We've been doing this show for over four years, and this has yet to in any way reflect. Yeah, you don't get to talk about your interests or anything at like all. That. Right, right, right. I got no stake in this show. Right. right. I feel like a silent business t- partner. <laughs> and you know why? Why? It's because I'm why? always outnumbered. Okay. Oh, right. Sure. At the very best, this podcast has one-third Griffin. (laughs) Right. If we have a guest, it's one-fourth. If we have multiple guests... It could be as much as, like, one-sixth. Yeah. Terrible. Right. But today, for the first time, this podcast, 50% Griff, baby. So I'm going to I'm gonna bend sort of at the waist like this and stick my arms out. And Perfect. you just grab grab my hands uh-huh. like that. I got it. Now we're, we're going to fuse. <laughs> Have you done this before? Griffin is doing this. I've right tried now. to do this with other guests, and it doesn't work. No, it's got to be two Griffins so yeah. we can fuse okay. together. There's my- no guarantee that we will be able to separate after this. Right. Are you okay? Yeah. No, no. It's much, of course, like the mythical Griffin, which is half eagle, half lion. We're going to turn to a mythical creature that's half Griffin, half Griffin. Right, exactly. Yep, but just two Griffin. heads, two Griffin. heads, no legs. It's a, <laughs> it's like a cat dog. Like but cat dogs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your arms no, can be the l- right. Yeah, right. It's a yeah. long neck, a head on each side. Right. It looks sort of like a dumbbell. It keeps. Just... Yeah, it looks like a hot dog <laughs> flanked by eagle heads. <laughs> what, is, what, what is cat dog doing these days? Do you think? What's cat uh, dog up to these yeah, days? Is, well, you could even add, you could add up the life expectancy of a dog and a cat, yeah. and it's still just statistically is probably dead as disco what by this point. Even like compounds, though. You know what I mean. You don't add. You multiply. Oh, I see. I, I see. I feel like cat dog move like uh, behind the the uh, the camera. You know what I'm saying. I feel like oh, cat. Right. Cat dog is like now. He's one of those guys who like directs a lot of Madam Secretaries. He's right. like Eric Stoltz. Or it's like Brian Robbins, <laughs> where he's now just like an exec at Nickelodeon. <laughs> right. Remember when Nick Cannon ran like uh, the N, and no. they were like, no, he's like actually running the network. He's a mogul. Yeah, that's what cat dogs like. Okay, cool. And dead. Uh, our guest today, of course, is Griffin McElroy. Are you ready Hi. to fuse? Are you ready? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you just want to push. So Ben, yeah. if and you I'll push. insert like a sort of, okay. uh, you know, sort of anime style. No sound yeah, effects yeah, necessary. Sound this effect. is going to really happen. Okay. Yeah, no yeah, sound yeah. effects this, necessary. Yeah, of course. You'll hear it. Like you, yeah. Have you ever heard one person's bones into another person's body? It makes a sound. We're finally you know, going to get a sound. Sort of a squelch. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Sort of like a crunchy squelch. Yeah. Okay. And no sound no. effects necessary. No. It's going to happen yeah. for real. Also, Ben, mark this to find some sound effects. Okay. Cool. Okay. Ready? I can't wait to see in an episode's metrics exactly when we got to zero listeners. Oh, see, okay, hold up. Oh, here's the problem: you push too hard. Okay, so yeah, now all your stuff's inside my stuff. Fuck. So I've got two skulls, yeah. two rib cages. So this is getting bad. This is getting bad. I don't even know where your voice is coming from. Um, I, I'm sort of just like uh, pushing wind out of my now hollow skin bag. Okay, okay, okay. So you're yeah, kind of like yeah, a yeah. bagpipe. Yeah. <laughs> okay, ready? I'm gonna pull this time. Okay. Uh, okay, but let's not uh, go overdo it. Okay. Okay. I'll <laughs> try. Go. I'll try to put a meter on this. Okay. Ready? Okay. Uh, uh, oh no! Now you. Now you got all my bones. Oh boy, I'm feeling heavy. <laughs> if only we could. S- hey, what the fuck, man? What? You saying I got heavy bones? You got. You got some. No, I'm just bones. saying I got double bones now. Mm, I think that was a bone dig. That was not yeah, a bone see, dig. I did, bone hey, because yeah. I didn't. Because fu- I didn't say that when I had your bones. I didn't say that he didn't, shit. You didn't talk about. Hey, that. but hey. then when you had. But then when you had my bones in you, you're like, mm, these are some uh, hefty bones. I didn't say that. I just said I have a lot in me right now. I mean, look, look around this room. Do you see Alan Grant anywhere? Because uh, if this were a bone dig. <laughs> Paleontologist Alan yeah, Grant would be here. He'd be here with his big, uh, with his big claw he uses to uh, yeah. assault children. His bone claw. That's, he is very mean to one child. Is wait, yeah. and was the fan theory that that child is Chris Pratt? Is Correct. that the fan theory? The fan theory. The great fan theory. <laughs> the great fan theory. I love when fan theories are like that one kid. 
he's Chris Pratt now. Yes. You know, like that one kid, he's Iron Man now or whatever. What's 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 up with this? <laughs> it's the really thing? cool when people do that. It's right. cool. Right. Because yeah. it was formerly just a scene in a movie. Right. Disgusting. Yeah. Now, yeah. now it's context. the most important scene in yeah. cinema exactly. history, and yeah. I'm the only one who knows. Yes. <laughs> uh, the Pixar theory that every Pixar movie is connected. Right. They're all in the same universe, and, and like the monster oh. world has something to do with the Brave Witch. They all got that stupid lamps in all of them. Yep. Yep. And the ball. And here's the thing. Uh -huh. That theory makes the movies so much better. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I feel so bad for anyone who watches those movies and doesn't realize that Cars takes place after a bug's life when the bugs have wiped out the earth. Wait, is that the theory? I, cars, no. in the theory, Cars is like the end, right? That's the last world. Right. It's like that's oh, so God. far in the future that there are only cars now. So that's, right. that suggests that at the end of WALL-E, all of the like pilgrims come back and then try to start a new world and fail. Correct. Or are turned into cars by a witch. One or the other. I think the witch from Brave is responsible. She's responsible for like 18 things. Right, all the magical uh, stuff. Right. Like the she toys is... only come to life because the witch and Brave fucked up. Yes, that's that's exactly right. Uh, I like that it all hinges on the witch. I'm from sorry. Brave. I'm sorry. I I'm wrong. Monsters Inc. is the end of the universe in the picture. The monsters too. kill the cars. Yes. How is that possible? Well, I don't. I think because the it doors are parallel. going to the past. I don't know. Look, I don't know Listen, why I brought this way, up. This is so cool. It's so good. Yeah, I love it, man. <laughs> is what I want out of art.